Oh, I cracked him! Oh my god. Fuck. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuri. Yeah, yeah. Yuri, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, I hate snipers now. I keep fucking cracking them. While Liam Lawson was streaming last night, Yuri Vips dropped what can only be described as an N-bomb, as well as referring to the colour pink as gay, while playing games with Liam and others. He has since been suspended by a Red Bull Racing Academy who Yuri was racing under at the time, and his future in Formula 2, despite being 7th in the championship at the moment, is up in the air. For now, anyways. This is not the first time that a young driver has been suspended due to something they said on stream, Remember when Dan Tictum called Nicholas Latifi poo? Dooby dooby doo, Latifi is poo. Ross bag is a cheat. As well as several other young drivers doing stupid things and posting them on social media. I'm looking at you, Nikita Mazepin. However, let's ignore these two and let's focus on the main character of this story. Seeing Yuri Vip's career go down the drain within seconds is awful, although it's rightfully deserved. If you were expecting me to defend this guy, then you are very mistaken. There is absolutely no excuse for racism, and this behaviour, especially coming from someone who is racing at a professional level while also trying to be a role model, is absolutely disgusting, and it is a tragedy that this still goes on, even after all the countless campaigns, among other things that have happened. Now, although I don't think he said it intentionally, some of us have been on a live stream anyway, where you or your friend may say something that isn't entirely streamer friendly, or you will make a mistake that could single handedly cost your career. Yuri Vips isn't the first person that this has happened to. This happened to a hundred of people before him and a hundred of people after him. And at the same time, you can't really feel sorry for them. Because at the end of the day, as humans, or should I say toxic people on social media, we all love to see another person's downfall. But at the same time, this usually exposes the streamer's true colours. Phipps has since come out with a statement saying, I wish to unreservedly apologise for the offensive language used during a live gaming stream earlier today. This language is entirely unacceptable, and it does not portray it the values and principles that I hold. I deeply regret my actions, and this is not the example I wish to set out. I will cooperate with the investigation fully. Despite clearly being apologetic and taking responsibility for his actions, some racing fans are claiming that Vips is yet another victim of cancel culture, and honestly, I'm going to say that this is just not the case here. Sure, it may seem harsh that this moment will affect his career from this day forward, but unfortunately the media never forgets, and as much of a double-edged sword as that is, this could help Yuri realise just how offensive and disgraceful his comments are. Hopefully he will learn from it and he will use this to reshape the ruins of his future for the better. But for now, it seems that Yuri Vip's racing career is well and truly over.